Hi there, Frank here from Remac Trading Systems. And in this little video here, we're going to put the focus again on optimization. And let me show you how we can have a good idea if what we're trying to do in the market is a robust methodology. I hope to be able to show it to you that it is our Remac Momentum Pro standalones capture a valid crowd behavior, a certain aspect of crowd behavior on the financial markets algorithmically. But let's look at the data and let's see what we find. So I conducted a little optimization exercise here. And let me show you what we're going to do here. Forget this chart. This is from a past run. So that's irrelevant right now. We're going to do it again. So we're going to optimize with BTX on four futures indexes here. The four major US futures indexes. Okay. And what I did here, I'm going to try to find the best time frame to trade between 15 minutes and 240 minutes, our usual focus of work anyway. So between 15 minutes and four hours. And um, I'm not going to worry about the details this time. I'm just going into in 15 minute increments. So 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and so on, up to four hours. And all I want to know is just a rough idea. What are we going to see? Are we going to see mostly green, mostly red? Is it something that's worth spending more time on? Is it something that we could use as the basis of writing a business plan, a trading plan, which would, of course, include the risk management rules and very much depends on our account size and a lot of personal factors. But this would be the start and the foundation that I hope would tell us if it makes sense at all to do anything with this methodology. So let's have a closer look. All right, so just a rough idea. I want to know what time frame might work best. I want enough data, so I'm going to look back more than two years, starting January 1st, 21, four instruments. Hopefully that will give us a large sample size, lots of trades. Now let's go, and I'm not going to optimize on anything else, just the time frame. Everything else will be the default settings or settings that I usually use. And let me show you what those might be. So we're going to trade two contracts. The first contract has a profit target of two ATRs. As you know, in this methodology, we measure everything in volatility, which is ATRs. Initial stop loss, three ATRs. Good. The second position has a initial stop of again three ATRs and we're going to start trailing the remaining position when the first target gets hit. So the first target gets hit, the first contract gets hit at two ATRs profit. That's when we're going to start trailing and we have a parabolic trailing stop which will close in more and more on the position and eventually we'll get stopped out. Beautiful. Now let's see what else we got here. Everything else is the default settings. So we're not going to go curve fitting and over optimize this strategy. I want it to be robust and only do one thing at a time. Okay, and we're going to keep the three best results. That's about it. Now we can optimize for many things in Ninja. Look at this, there's a whole long list here. You can Press F1, go into the documentation to read all about all these things. And of course, this is also a little bit individual because if you want to sleep well, you or better, probably you want a strategy that is mostly more stable, less dramatic, smaller drawdowns. So perhaps you may want to go for maximum strength, which is like the more, the more equal equity curve by and large, or maybe you want to go for a minimum drawdown or average profit, various max probability. I wouldn't recommend that, but maybe max profit factor that might make sense. Actually, let's choose that one now. But again, in the documentation, you can read all about these potential targets for optimization in more detail.
All right, so let's just use the profit factor for now, and I'm going to run this test, and let's see. So there are four instruments, all together 64, you see, combinations of the four instruments and the 15-minute time frame increments between 15 and 240. So we'll give it a couple of minutes, and then we'll look at the results. And again, I'm not trying to find the, the secret of the universe here. This is just what I want to know is if this is good enough to have a closer look. And uh, hopefully, we're going to get that question answered in just a few minutes. So here we go. This strategy or this product, BTX, is lightning fast. So you will see that you don't have to spend hours and hours waiting for the results. In two, three minutes, you can get the results for four instruments, more than almost more than two years of data. So, okay, I'll give it a little time and then we'll look at the results. Okay, so we have some results here. Let's have a look. So we're looking at the ES first. Let's see. Okay, I'm just, I just want to have a rough idea right now. So performance 125, 165 minutes, 45 minutes. I'm just going to go one by one. I'm less worried about the exact number of minutes because we can deal with that later. What I want to know is rather the curve, the efficiency of this strategy. All right, well, this is uh, not doing much, but at least it's, mostly green actually totally green the 210 minutes probably wouldn't be my first choice anyway let's see the nq and we have a 15 minute here now that looks pretty good the nq 225 minutes you see so whichever i'm clicking on and that's the point probably of this video whichever i'm clicking on it usually goes up sometimes convincingly goes up. Look at this. This is a 15-minute NQ over how many trades? Look at that. Almost 3,000 trades. That's a large sample size. So it's not a fluke, most likely. I mean, everything's possible, but most likely this is not a fluke. It's just too many trades to be, for this to be an accident. Let's look at the RTY. 195 minutes, well, okay, so again, at this point, what I want to know, even the RTY, only 300 trades, so it's much less results, still green, still made some money, but not as dramatic, of course, as the NQ. Now, we can't expect stellar results on anything, anytime, all the time. That's just not possible, but here's another time frame, 30 minutes on the RTY, 1,420 trades solidly over 50%, and the equity curve is quite pleasing to the eye. Okay, well, this is a little bit all over the place, but again, nothing red here. Nothing red, 200 trades, goes up and down, but not one minute spent in drawdown, actually. Actually, well, at least the initial amount was not violated. 54%. Let's just look at the YM now. With the YM, we probably remember it was often sideways in the past year or two, and perhaps lagging, not as dramatic as the NQ. And here is the first time actually where we see any red. Look at this. But even then, the results in the end turn out to be pretty impressive. And 54% success rate or accuracy and the profit factor is solidly above one. So remember, any profit factor bigger than 1.0 is a good one, is a profitable strategy. So what can we say? What we can say is that whichever instrument I'm clicking on and whichever of the three best time frames, they're mostly green, almost like 95% green. Now that is something that has a meaning for us. That means that it is time to pay attention 
And perhaps it's time to get this tool, get this algorithm, get this software, and start doing some good work. Now, we often get the question, why can't you just tell us what are the best settings? And we just press a button, and of course, all we see is green on our account. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. First of all, in finance, as you know, reward and risk are two sides of the same coin. One is not possible without the other. So you will never enjoy rewards without carrying risk. But that's just the basic finance theory. In more practical terms, how could we give exact rules to anybody except ourselves when we don't know the trader's account size, personal preferences, age, family situation, wealth, or lack of it, or anything else, all the other personal factors, psychological preferences or stamina or grit, many, many other factors that go into a good trading plan. And let me just mention, since we are actually remembering Mark Douglas, the amazing contributions of Mark Douglas this week, a famous author who passed away around this time of the year eight years ago. He has some fantastic books worth reading. And he is one author, if I put it this way, probably it will show better. All right. So he is one of the authors that writes so much about the psychological aspects of successful trading. So you have to know yourself to be able to write a good, successful trading plan. Having said all that, just focusing on the numbers, I think we are able to show you now here in this video, particularly, that this is a strategy, this is a methodology, and this is a software product worth investing in and worth using to build a foundation on. And for that, I wish you good luck. Thank you very much and mindful trading. Mm -hmm.